What's up YouTube, what's up Jigsaw Pieces, and today people we are bringing you another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Live Wi-Fi battle today against someone I picked up on a forum called Thomas, we're going to click yes to agree, and uh, let me just tell him I am recording this, and um, if you, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world. Now, I'm going to get ready to take a picture of my opponent's team. We are in the RU tier. This is probably going to be the last belt we do in the RU, and we'll jump back up to you, you for a little bit. Just go and pick a random song. We go from music number 11. Click battle start. I'm going to take a picture of my opponent's team because my memory is diddly squat, and I want to know what they got, when they got, and how they got it. And they have... Ooh, a Torco. It's kind of nice seeing a Torco. So we see Torco, Ambipom. Ambipom's kind of scary. Shedinja is definitely scary. Jesus Christ. A Clado, a Clauncher, and a Tyrantrum. Oh my goodness. Let me just say good luck to Thomas. I don't know if I'm saying Thomas. Thomas? I'm just going to say Thomas. I'm saying it like an American. Shedinja is a scary, scary mon. Really is. Um, with Wonder Guard. That kind of makes me want to lead with Bronzong, actually. Because if we can get Toxic off, it'd be kind of nice. It'd be kind of nice. But then Kristen wouldn't be a bad lead. Although the Clauncher is there, I think I'm going to lead with Bronzong. Because we can get up our Stealth Rocks, we can Toxic that. Gosh, dig it in. Honestly, that Shredinja is scaring the living bejeebus out of me, but we're going to jump in anyway. And we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Thomas, good luck, my friend. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We open bronze and they open up with bombs away. The Torco. And... That's... Uh, scary. Definitely scary. Which makes me kind of want to switch. Kind of want to switch. Because I feel like a Flame Forest coming our way. Omastar would be an amazing switch in here. Or Drudagon. I'm going to stay in. I want to get my Stealth Rocks up. Uh... Oh, okay. He's just asked him not to call him Thomas. He has to call him T-Bones. So we'll call you T-Bones from now. And we just traded rocks, which... is fair enough. It's fair enough. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and Toxic Torkoal. Because I feel like Toxic... Uh, I feel like Toxic. I feel like Torkoal... And... Uh, he went for a rapid spin to get rid of the rocks. We went ahead and toxics that thing. So that's kind of nice. Uh... At this point... At this point, I kind of just want a Zen headbutt. I want to check out Torkoal's defenses because I'm not too sure what. I love Torkoal; he's amazing, amazing to look at. Actually, beautiful Pokemon, Torkoal. But his defense is sky high. Oh, I should switch now, but I'm gonna just set up my rocks again, just because I do want the Toxic to start building up. He went for a Lava Plume. We are heat proof. Yes, yeah, so that did not do as much. Huh. I'm kind of being stubborn by staying in here. I feel. I feel like I'm just being stubborn. But looking at damage, I'm going to go for a Zen Headbutt. And stay in. We get a flinch! I'm sorry, Tebow! <laughs> I'm sorry. And the poison damage is going to start to wreck up. If we can get rid of this defensive wall. Uh, I think Bronzon can have a little bit of fun. 
I feel like Bronzong can have a little bit of fun. That Claydol could be a bit of an issue. Uh, Tyrant, maybe, as well. He got rid of his rocks again, which makes sense. But Toxic is going to build up. I don't know whether Toxic would... Uh, Toxic might take him out now. Toxic might take him out now. With lefties, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see! Alright, at this point... Getting my rocks up feels like the smart thing to do. Feels like 100% the smart thing to do, because Poison will take him out. He actually withdrew. Doesn't want to lose his Torkoal. Goes into Muja, the Shedinja. And this is what we were scared of. I'm going to Toxic this thing, because... Residual damage is residual damage, and he's going to probably predict me to switch because I need to have something that's super effective on it to dish out normal damage. You can willow my Bronzong. He's kind of more there to be a wall than offensive, so... And we get Toxic off on this thing, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, appropriate switches. Appropriate switches, I feel like, is Houndoom, but Toxic does take him out. <laughs> T-Bone said he forgot about that. <laughs> Don't worry, we all do it. I forget major things sometimes, and it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Whew. Guys, if you see T-Bone's in the comment section, he seems like he's going to come and say hi to everybody. So make sure you show him some love. Make sure you definitely show him some love. So the Kloetzer comes through now. I feel like Kloetzer's Klotz, not probably... Clots is probably one of those mons that are frow. I feel like Clots is frow. I feel like Clots is frow. Yeah, but his special attack is out the wazoo. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Who's our specially defensive mon? I mean, Drudigon could take a hit, but it is Bronzong. It is Bronzong. Bronzong's done what I needed him to do. I don't really need him for any other Mons. Um, I don't think I do. So I'd rather get a safe switch in than anything else. So residual damage, residual damage. We are burnt, so it's not going to do a lot. Dark Poles. We live it, which is a shocker of itself. And that done little to nothing, <laughs> as expected. As expected. Um, and we gotta let Bronzong go down here, because I need a safe switch in. Because Claude's is strong, but he's not. He's not fast. He's not fast. Yeah, it's dark posture. All right, so Bronzong is down now. Appropriate switch for this Claude is kind of my Rotom mode, and there's not. Um, actually, actually, I'm gonna go out to my Drudigon just because Drudigon will still at speed. And if he had, because if I'd gone into Rotom Mo, he could have gone out into the Torkoal just to get a safe switch in and all that jazz. So I'm gonna Dragon Tail. He withdrew the Klotzer and went out into Bombs Away. Uh, just to get a safe switch in, which makes sense, which makes sense, which makes sense. Uh, Dragon Tail, and he gets to scat, so good play on T-Bone's part. Death Fodder is very, very useful. Is very useful. Goes into Death Top, the Claydol. Now, I don't remember the last time. <laughs> I think it was in-game I p was the last time I faced a Claydol, so Claydol's a little scary. But we do have Night Slash, and Night Slash should do a good amount. He's going to get rid of those rocks. He had two spinners on his team, which is crazy. He's Life Orb Spinner? That, that, that's different. We did get rid of our Stealth Rock user, unfortunately. 
And at this point, I am going to go for a Dragon Tail in case he does want to switch. But he just rocks with the Ice Beam. That might OK my Drudigon. My Drudigon lived a crit! Oh my god. Wow. I honestly did. I mean, I love him. He's my channel mascot. But I did not expect him to live that. Alright, so the Torkoal's gone. The Claydol's gone. The Shedinja's gone. Ambipom. And be palm. Now we know a fake out is coming. We know a fake out is coming. I kind of want to go to Hitmonlee. I'm going to go ahead and save my Drudigon and go into Hitmonlee. Now I don't know if I outspeeded Ambipom. I'm not going to look it up because I don't want to see the, the, these things. I don't want to look up too many things. Oh my god, that done so much. I really, really hope we at speed. He withdrew. Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum comes through. To take this... It's a choice banded close combat and it takes out the Tyrantrum nice and easy. That turned out not to be as scary as I thought when I first saw that Tyrantrum. And he's got a Klotzer Ambipom. Klotzer and Ambipom left. Klotzer and Ambipom left. Okay. I still don't know if we outspeed the Ambipom. Oh, he's going to fake out and finish him off. I'm just going to rock with it. Yeah. I'm going to rock with it and let it happen. I'm going to let it happen. Now. I feel like Rotom. I feel like Rotom can come in and probably do the damn thing. Um, I want a Leaf Storm because it's stronger than the gosh diggadurn Thunderbolt. We should live a double hit. It pops our Citrus Berry barely, which is really nice. And a Leaf Storm. I don't know. I don't know. It's neutral. Yeah, I was going to say it is neutral. Poppy's own Citrus Berry. However, I think another Leaf Storm... I know we had the drop. However, I feel like another Leaf Storm will pick up the KO. I feel like it will. And it, it was a crit! That crit might have mattered in that situation. Overall, though, I don't, I, I don't know whether it did. I don't think it did. Now, because we have had the drops... Um, Klotzer might live a Volt Switch. Uh, might live a Thunderbolt. So I'm going to Volt Switch. And then we have Rotom to come back in on it. And finish things up. Wow! He had speeds. Bye, Rotom! Alright. Now he has Aura Sphere. Drudicon come through. Hopefully Drudicon can finish things up because Aura Sphere is scary for both of my Pokemon left. Oh. I'm going to go for it. Stab Dragon Tail. It's do or die Drudicon. We don't have speed. What the hell? I thought this thing wasn't that fast. Jesus Christ. Alright. Kristen, the Houndoom, come on through. Now, Houndoom should outspeed. I'm destiny bonding. We're gonna... He outspeeds! What? Am I missing an ability here? No, it's just Mega Launcher. Is it choice Scarfed? Is that a thing? Oh, my little baby Lanta. This Klutzer come in and wrecked us. 
we kept that focus sash. Oh my god. We have... I'm gonna ancient power. Is he choice scarfed? He must be choice scarfed. He's at speeding everything. And he picked up the win. Oh my god. I'm in shock. I got so comfortable there. And I shouldn't have. That Kreutzer ended up finishing up the whole team. Well, GG T-Bone. That, that, wow. Wow. Learning experience to the maximum. But guys, if you've enjoyed and you want to be featured in one of those battles, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description down below. And uh, hit us up when I tweet for battles. With that, I've been Jamie Jigsaw. I upload daily. And I'll see you guys next time.